What is going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the number one tool that I use to center all of my product research around. I do not do research and I do not find good products without this tool. So maybe some of you guys have heard of the Jungle Scout product tracker or the Jungle Scout web app. A lot of you probably have. If you haven't already, then this is going to be a great video for you, especially if you're new to Amazon FBA. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how it works and why it is so beneficial for you to find your first product using this web app because it will save you a lot of time. So now let's jump into it i'll show you guys how it works and how fast you can find your first product okay so here we are on the jungle scout website and i also have this exact link down below in the description under tools i use it will say jungle scout and then you guys can go ahead and click on that link and it will take you to the right website so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the different pricing for their products which is the extension in the web app First, we're going to try out the web app and I'm going to show you guys what plan I recommend because you don't need the most expensive one. So we're going to come down to the different plan types right here and then make sure that you have it set to monthly right here. So some people have it set to yearly and that makes it a lot cheaper, but then they charge you for a whole year's worth. So make sure you have it set to monthly because we only need this for a month to find our first product. So I would recommend the standard right here. And if you guys are on an extremely tight budget, then I would go for the startup. You do not need the business plan and you do not need the seller plan so the standard or the startup if you have the budget do the standard now for the chrome extension we're going to come on over to that and that is going to take us to the different plans here there are only two plans so there's going to be the pro chrome extension and the light chrome extension so once again if you guys have the budget for it then i highly recommend you go for the pro version and then there's the light version and that is if you're on a budget then you can go with the light version it is totally fine it does not make that big of a difference and it is still very usable and still very valuable okay so let's just say you just got the jungle scout web app and now we see a page like this this is exactly what you're supposed to see so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top left right here where it says find products click on that and the most important thing out of these three things is going to be the product database that is what i use the most that is why i primarily use this web app and this is why this is so beneficial and important to use so basically this is going to help you find all of your products um, maybe 95 percent of the products you find are probably going to be through this web app that is how it works for me and that's how it works for all the students i have taught so it is extremely helpful to find your first product using this okay so the first thing we're going to see is going to be here on the left side this is going to be all the different categories that you can sell in and also up top if you are not selling in the US marketplace then you can go ahead and select your marketplace right here that way you're pulling up results for your certain market if you're in Canada or Germany or wherever so basically on the left here we're gonna have all the different categories and remember some of these categories require special approval or some of the products might be restricted or banned or anything like that if you guys want to know what categories you can sell in then there is a website on Amazon seller central right here and it's categories requiring approval also uh, shows you restricted products, things like that. You can look more into that. I will leave this link down in the description below for you guys to check out. And once you guys figure out what categories you wanna sell in, then you can come over here and click on a few of them. Uh, we'll do cell phones, uh, sports and outdoors, patio, lawn and garden. And uh, we'll try to do one more office products and pet supplies. So we clicked a few of them. We're gonna look into these certain categories and see if there are any products in these categories that meet our criteria. So what I mean by criteria is going to be the sales review, certain things that we want to narrow down and make sure it fits our requirements as sellers. So on the right hand side, that is where we are going to figure all this out. So first we got to pick if we want a standard or oversized product. Um, I would suggest standard if you are new and on a small budget because standard products are going to be smaller, cheaper to ship and also cheaper to buy from suppliers. And then you guys can also look into oversized products. Don't ever let there be any restrictions on what you want to play around with. So any of the numbers I give you here, feel free to tweak them just a little bit or mess around with whatever your preference is. So they are not mandatory at all. Right next to that, we have the seller. We're gonna to wanna to do FBA and FBM. We don't wanna do Amazon because Amazon listings are very hard to compete with. Uh, FBM is going to be merchant sellers, meaning they are shipping out their own products and those are very easy to compete with because they don't have very quick shipping like we do with Amazon Prime. And then FBA sellers are gonna be what me and you are selling as. So FBA is gonna be much better than FBM and Amazon is gonna be the most hard to compete with. Just keep that in mind. Now, after we established all this up top, we wanna to come down to the filters below. The first one we're gonna see is gonna be the price range. Now the price range is really gonna depend on you and what your budget is, what you're looking for, how much profit you wanna make per unit, things like that, how many units you wanna sell a month. But I'm gonna give you guys a very broad uh, number. I wouldn't go below 13. 
and I would not go above 50. So we're gonna go ahead and put 50 here. And then after that, we can skip the net, we can skip the rank, and we're gonna come down to the minimum sales. Now, minimum sales, I would say bare, bare minimum, I would look for 200 sales a month as the minimum. And then the maximum is gonna be unlimited. So we're not gonna fill that in right there. Uh, the next thing, minimum revenue, we're gonna skip. And we're gonna come over here on the right side to minimum reviews. Now on reviews, we want to have as low of reviews as we can. So we're gonna put no minimum because it can be as low as possible. And then the maximum, we're gonna put 70. I would not look anything above 70 as the maximum. Then we're gonna come down to the rating, skip that, we're gonna go to weight. Now the minimum weight is gonna be nothing because the lighter the product is, the better because the shipping is gonna be cheaper, meaning that's more money for us to make. So we're not gonna put anything for minimum and we're gonna make a maximum of two pounds. So if you're in another marketplace that doesn't use pounds, make sure you are converting to pounds. And then these last two sections, we are gonna go ahead and skip for now. And then all that's left to do is go ahead and search. Now, one more thing before we search this up, if you guys wanted to get into my personal mentorship and course, and you want me to personally teach you and guide you through the entire process, so I'm letting you guys know that the course is open again, and I am now letting in new students, and I'm ready to get the next batch of students through and succeeding. So if you guys want to get into that, then it is gonna be the first link down below in the description. And also, if you guys have any questions, then you can email me right here where it says ask Riley Turner at gmail.com right above me over there not over here over there so if you guys have any questions before you get into the course then feel free to email me now let's get back into the video and search up the results and then we're gonna get all the different results that meet our criteria that we just listed all up here so it basically gives us a bunch of product ideas that we can look into further and see if it is a good option to sell or not so you're just gonna scroll through some of these products, glance over them, and trust me, you are gonna get the hang of it once you get started doing this. It's very easy to know uh, what products are bad and what products are good. So for example, as you get looking through these products, you're gonna really know what is good and what is bad. So for this product, it is gonna be a liquid, some sort of chemical, so we're gonna stay away from that because that is gonna be not so easy to sell, a lot of restrictions, a lot of uh, special requirements for chemicals or liquids or anything that goes on the body. Uh, the next one is going to be a picture frame which has glass and that can break easy so that's also not a very good idea but also still doable so don't cross it off the list and you can also look at all the different stats of this exact listing over to the right and you can see how many reviews they have you can see what their rating is how heavy this specific product is their specific pricing and you can also see their sales and revenue so that's very good so let's just keep scrolling and i'm going to show you guys what the next step is once we find a decent product that we're looking at okay so i found this it looks like mouth swabs i've never heard of it before and i'm not sure exactly what it is meant for but it looks pretty good the reviews are about 3.9 stars and it only has 27 reviews meaning we can catch up to him we can get more than 27 pretty easily and also we can probably get better ratings than him so let's hope we can get a five star and then we can outsell this seller right here so what we want to do is we want to look into this listing further and see how well they are doing and see if we can compete with them or not so you can either click on the listing right here or we can go down to the bottom right and click on view on Amazon and it will take us to the Amazon listing for this product. Okay, so here's the listing and now we can look at it, analyze it and see if we can do anything better than it. And already off the bat, I can see that the title is not very good. There are gonna be a lot more keywords. It can be definitely longer. Uh, like I said, the reviews are not a five star. It has an Amazon Choice Badge with only four star reviews, which is pretty weird because usually the Amazon Choice Badge is only given to sellers with really, really good reviews. So that is also something we can take. If this guy has the Amazon Choice Badge, then probably we can take that as well and that will increase our sales a lot. He also only has 27 reviews, like I said, which is very easy to compete with. Let's see how his pictures look. They look all right, they're not very good. We can definitely beat these as well very easily. Now their description is also not very good. We can definitely beat that out as well. Now what I'm more interested in is going to be what the numbers look like when we pull out the Jungle Scout Chrome extension on the product. So basically the Jungle Scout extension is gonna take it even further to where we can study this product even more and know a lot more detail about it. So this is gonna tell us more precisely how many sales and the different revenue and daily sales, monthly sales, things like that. So basically it's gonna be this top one right here where it says 100 piece disposable mouth swab right here and then we're gonna come across it's for $13.99 I don't like that price too much it's a little bit low you can definitely still make a lot of money selling this product because they are so cheaply made I'm sure and then monthly sales 520 that is very very good 
um, and that gives them a revenue of 7275 So this is someone making 7000 a little more than $7,000 a month, and we can definitely outdo him with the pictures, with the title, with the bullet points, and we can also probably differentiate our product, make it even better than his, and we can sell it for cheaper or even more money and sell better. There are a lot of things that go into competing with certain sellers, but I can guarantee you that it is very easy to beat this listing if you know what you're doing. And once again, if you guys wanna make sure that you know what you're doing and you wanna make sure that you're gonna be successful, then you guys can go down below in the description. It's gonna be the first link once again, and that is gonna be for my course and mentorship. And that way I'll help you guys through the entire process myself. So just to make sure that you guys are still following along, we're gonna go back to the web app and make sure that you guys know all the steps. So first we're gonna fill out the different categories that we want to sell in, making sure that they're not restricted or gated. Then we're gonna fill out all the filters for our criteria for the strategy that we're trying to go for. We're gonna find a product, we're gonna click on it, it's gonna take us to the listing, then we're gonna pull up the Jungle Scout Chrome extension for this product, and it's gonna tell us how well it is doing with more detail. And then if we look at the Jungle Scout Chrome extension for the product like we just did, and this one looks pretty good, then we would move forward with the product and go look for a supplier and then go from there. So product research can be very frustrating, it can take a very long time, and a lot of people give up because they can't find a product that they want, and that is because they just don't know what they're doing, they don't have the right tools, so make sure you guys have the Jungle Scout Chrome extension have the Jungle Scout web app and if you guys want I'm going to take you guys on their website right now and show you guys which ones to get because you guys don't need to get the most expensive plan so let me show you the plans that I like okay so here we are on the Jungle Scout website and I also have this exact link down below in the description under tools I use it will say Jungle Scout and then you guys can go ahead and click on that link and it will take you to the right website so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the different pricing for their products which is the extension in the web app First, we're gonna try out the web app and I'm gonna show you guys what plan I recommend because you don't need the most expensive one. So we're gonna come down to the different plan types right here and then make sure that you have it set to monthly right here. So some people have it set to yearly and that makes it a lot cheaper, but then they charge you for a whole year's worth. So make sure you have it set to monthly because we only need this for a month to find our first product. So I would recommend the standard right here and if you guys are on an extremely tight budget, then I would go for the startup. You do not need the business plan and you do not need the seller plan so the standard or the startup if you have the budget do the standard now for the chrome extension we're going to come on over to that and that is going to take us to the different plans here there are only two plans so there's going to be the pro chrome extension and the light chrome extension so once again if you guys have the budget for it then i highly recommend you go for the pro version that's what i've been using when i showed you guys just a minute ago and then there's the light version, and that is if you're on a budget, then you can go with the light version. It is totally fine. It does not make that big of a difference, and it is still very usable and still very valuable.